The Secret of the Rosary by St. Louis de Montfort, 49th Rose, Indulgences. This is the right time to say a little about indulgences, and this is also the time to say thank you to those that have subscribed and are sharing, which have, and which, thank you so much. So this is the right time to say a little about indulgences, which have been granted to Rosary Confraternity members so that you may gain as, much, as many as possible. Briefly, an indulgence is a remission or relaxation of temporal punishments due to actual sins by the application of the superabundant satisfaction of Jesus Christ, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and of the saints which are contained in the treasury of the church. A plenary indulgence is a remission of the whole punishment to, due to sin, a partial indulgence of, for instance, 100 or 1,000 years in Montfort's time. The webmaster can be explained as the remission of as much punishment as could have been expiated during 100 or 100,000 years if one had been a corresponding number of the penances prescribed by the church's ancient canons. Now, these canons exacted seven and sometimes ten or fifteen years penance for one single mortal sin, so that a person who was guilty of twenty mortal sins would probably have had to perform a seven-year penance at least twenty times and so on. Rosary confraternity members who want to gain the indulgences must first be truly repentant and must go to confession and Holy Communion as the bull of indul indulgences teaches. They must be entirely free from affection for venial sin because if affection for sin is left, the guilt is left too. And since the guilt is there, the punishment cannot be lifted. They must say the prayers and carry out the good works designed by the bull. If, in accordance with what the popes have said, one can gain a partial indulgence, for instance, of 100 years without gaining a plenary indulgence, it is not always necessary to go to confession and holy communion in order to gain it. Such partial indulgences or many of those attached to the rosary, either of five or of or of fifteen decades to processions, blessed rosaries, etc. Be sure not to neglect these indulgences. Fl Flaming and a great number of other writers tell the story of a young girl of noble station by the name of Alexandra who had been miraculously converted and enrolled by St. Dominic in the confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary after her death, she appeared to him and said that she had been condemned to 700 years of purgatory because of her own sins and those that she had made others commit by her worldly ways. So she implored him to ease her pains by his prayers and to ask the confraternity members to pray for the same end. St. Dominic did as she had asked. Two weeks later, she appeared to him more radiant than the sun, having been quickly delivered from purgatory through the prayers that the confraternity members had said for her. She also told St. Dominic that the holy souls in purgatory had given her a message to beg him to go on preaching the Holy Rosary and to beg their relations to offer their rosaries for them and that they would reward them abundantly when they came into their glory. So, friends, pray your rosary and remember, go to confession. Go to confession and do your penance. Do your penance, and um, and it, it is true, you know, some people can be 
in purgatory for many, many years. And 700 years is a lot to be in the fire burning, you know, so let's be faithful. Um, let's try to avoid with all our hearts, but we can only do it with the grace of God uh, to stay out of sin because especially mortal sins and a lot of venial sins as well. So living in a state of grace is the best way to go. May the Lord bless you and those who you love. And remember, whenever the Hail Mary is said, the court of heaven rejoices. So pray your rosary. Pray without ceasing. That's what the Bible tells us. Pray without ceasing. You can be saying, Jesus, have mercy on me. I'm a sinner. Jesus, save me. Jesus, save the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. And then your Hail Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So keep on praying, keep on praying, do not give up. And also in the description box, I will leave a link of some prayers. Actually, I'm going to leave a link to a book. May the Lord bless you once again. And please pray for me as I pray for you daily. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.